Previously on Seeking Performance. Oh, I know that. Hello. So I'm down to BBL GTI with Neil, and he's going to tell us a little bit about remaps and why would you want to remap your car. Lots of benefits, better fuel economy, uh, improved fuel consumption, uh, better low end torque, and obviously increased brake horsepower. Okay, so on a kind of naturally aspirated vehicle, what gains would you roughly see, do you reckon? Depends greatly on the vehicle. A lot of modern vehicles, uh, the software limits the throttle opening. Okay. Um, obviously, there's variable cam timing as well that can be optimised on some vehicles. And obviously, there's uh, cars without that. Obviously, there's AFR and ignition timing that can be optimised to get the best power and torque. Okay, so on a more modified vehicle, maybe more turbocharged, I guess mm -hmm. you see more gains from a remap. Of course, a uh, turbocharged vehicle, we can raise the boost pressure um, via the ECU, the um, requested uh, boost pressure, and then obviously again optimise the ignition and, and fueling for the increased boost. There's also torque limits as well on modern ECUs that can be modified as well so that the ECU allows greater torque outputs from the engine. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot, a lot involved in a modern ECU, I'd say particularly touching on cars with variable cam timing, there's uh, exhaust and inlet camshaft uh, timing that can be changed, which makes obviously very big gains as well. So with the Mazda 3 we saw quite a good gain, uh, Neil how did you achieve that? Optimising the AFRs was a big part in that, the Mazda 3 stock software runs very rich at higher RPMs, obviously with the free flowing exhaust system as well, we were able to advance the timing, um, quite an early computer on that car now, obviously 10 years old, so no adjustment for cam timing uh, or torque limits come, come into play, so yeah good, good gains from a very straightforward map optimising the AFRs and the ignition timing. Awesome, and then the BMW weren't so successful with, um, we didn't actually get many gains from that at all. Uh, do you know the reason why that was? Well it was very inconsistent on our dynos, you probably remember, stock yep. and when we tried to modify it, and unfortunately logging at the time didn't show up the fault, which we later found out to be a, a high pressure fuel pump fault. Okay, so basically remaps are amazing and everyone should get one. Very good, very good gains on t particularly turbocharged cars. Um, like I say, a lot of cars now are actually limited on horsepower output um, via the software um, limiting throttle opening. So yeah, very worthwhile, but it's worthwhile doing your homework beforehand and seeing what gains you can get on that particular vehicle. Okay, there we go. That is everything. Thank you very much. Very welcome. Cheers. Seeking performance. James has now been delegated to the most important job, cleaning the messiest created.